Okay, so my name is Serge Arroche, and I'm a physicist. I got the Nobel Prize in 2012, and it was for the manipulation of individual quantum systems. So what we did was to trap photons in a box and manipulate and control these photons, which are the grain of light, to try to understand the deep properties of quantum systems and maybe to find ways to use these properties for to do something useful in the end. And the photon is at the same time a wave and a particle. They are very small and they are very difficult to isolate, so they are very elusive. When you try to work with them, <coughs> they are very easily destroyed. The photons are ubiquitous around us. When you look at something, the photons enter into your eye and then they are destroyed. So what we wanted to do is to study the photons in a more in a gentler way, in a way which does not destroy them, so that we can keep studying them and learn more about them as possible vehicle for information. The solution first was to have a very good uh, box, a box which can keep the photons bouncing inside for very long times. Uh, we were able to keep the photons for about one-tenth of a second, and then we sent atoms one by one through the box, and the atoms were just picking some information from the photons getting out, and then we interrogated the atoms to ask them what they had seen in the box. So it's a little bit the opposite. In our case, the atoms were seeing the photons. Uh, usually the photons are the things which see the object. So we were reversing the problem of seeing. Now, what would be the practical application is another issue, and we don't know yet, but uh, people think that the, there will be a new wave of quantum technologies coming from the direct uh, exploitation of these strange quantum properties, then you would have to work at the level of individual quantum systems. We all want to make sure that our food is safe, but doing that can be really hard. Looking for contaminants in raw materials is tough. The statistics are stacked against us. Today, we can only test for pathogens individually, one sample at a time. And that means hundreds, if not thousands of tests, most of which deliver a simple negative result. We needed to think about this differently. That's why Mars and IBM joined forces, to sequence the genomes of all the organisms in the food supply chain. That's millions of organisms, but big data is what IBM is good at. The DNA and RNA sequences show you all the harmless bacteria that are found in normal, safe food. If we do the test and the microorganisms are suddenly different, something's up. The organisms have changed because the environment has changed it could be contaminated. And not only that, this tells us things that we never could have seen before, like where the food was grown, how it was transported, and maybe even what happened en route. Our approach to food safety just got a lot smarter. 